morning all welcome to exam nursery 65 hope you all are good and safe in this video we are going to do a weekly roundup we will discuss the most important current affairs questions and answers from 27th number to 3rd december 2022 do watch the video till the end let's begin the section Who will be the chief guest at Republic Day celebrations of India? Abdel Fattah Al Sisi. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi will be the chief guest at the Republic Day in January 2023. This is the first time that the President of the Arab Republic of Egypt will be the chief guest at our Republic Day. Both countries are celebrating the 75th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations this year. Let's talk about Egypt. Where is the capital of Egypt? Cairo. Who is the Prime Minister of Egypt? Mustafa Madbole. What is the currency of Egypt? Egyptian pound. Let's move to next question. Which of the following museums has won the UNESCO Asia Pacific Award? Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Vastu Sangrahalaya The restoration of the historic Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Vastu Sangrahalaya in Mumbai has won a top award from UNESCO The 100 year old museum part of the Victorian Gothic and Art Deco ensembles of Mumbai's World Heritage property has received the award of excellence in this year's UNESCO Asia Pacific Awards for cultural heritage conservation It was established as the Prince of Wales Museum of Western India in 1922. Let's talk about UNESCO. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization is a specialist agency of the United Nations that aimed at promoting world peace and security through international cooperation in education, arts, science and culture. It was formed on 16 November 1945 where is the headquarters of unesco paris france who is the director general of unesco andre aslai let's move to next question which state has launched the ganga water supply scheme bihar bihar chief minister nidish kumar launched ganga water supply scheme or Ganga Jal Apurthi Yojana to the people at Rajgir. Developed by Hyderabad based Mega Engineering and Infrastructures Limited, the project is part of Bihar's Jal Jeevan Hariyali Initiative. It is one of its kind drinking water project using flood water of the Ganga River. Under the project, the flood waters would be stored in the reservoir which would be treated and then supplied to Rajgir. Let's talk about Bihar. Where is the capital of Bihar? Patna. Who is the chief minister of Bihar? Nitish Kumar. Who is the governor of Bihar? Pagu Chauhan. The National Cadet Corps was established in which year? 1948. It established on 16 July 1948. Established in 1948. NCC is the world's largest uniformed youth organization. NCC day is observed on the 4th Sunday of November. NCC celebrated 74th anniversary of its racing day on 27th November. Where is the headquarters of NCC? New Delhi. Who is the director general of NCC? Lieutenant General Gurbir Pal Singh. Let's move to next question. who has appointed as the Nikshai Mitra ambassador Dr Deepa Malik Union Health Ministry designated the president of the Paralympic Committee of India Dr Deepa Malik as Nikshai Mitra ambassador it is an initiative under Pradhan Mantri TB Mukt Bharat Abhiyan Dr Deepa Malik who packed 23 international sports medals at various events said she herself is an example of not giving up in spite of various health issues for the past 23 years let's learn from her 
डॉट गिव अप Who has become the first woman president of the Indian Olympic Association? P.T. Usha. P.T. Usha will be the first woman president of the Indian Olympic Association in its 95-year history, and the first Olympian and an international medalist to head the National Olympic Committee. Let's talk about the Indian Olympic Association. The Indian Olympic Association is the governing body for the Olympic movement. and the commonwealth games in india it founded in 1927 where is the headquarters of indian olympic association new delhi let's move to next question which state will get india's first integrated rocket facility by skyroot aerospace telangana India's first integrated rocket design, manufacturing, and testing facility by Skyroot Aerospace will set up in Telangana. India's first privately built rocket, Vikram S, was developed by Skyroot and launched by the Indian Space Research Organisation. Let's talk about Telangana. Where is the capital of Telangana? Hyderabad. Who is the Chief Minister of Telangana? K. Chandrasekhar Rao. Who is the governor of Telangana? Tamil Nadu Sounder Rajan. The world's first intranasal vaccine, Incovac, has been developed by which company? Bharat Biotech International Limited. Bharat Biotech has developed the world's first nasal COVID vaccine, Incovac. The company has also received approval from the Central Drugs Standard Control Organization under the restricted emergency use of the vaccine for ages 18 and above in India. Bharat Biotech's intranasal vaccine is to be used as a heterologous booster dose against the currently available COVID-19 vaccines. Who is the Drugs Controller General of India? Dr. V. G. Somani. Which city is hosting the 59th Asia Pacific Broadcasting Union General Assembly 2022? New Delhi. Prasar Bharati, India's public service broadcaster, is hosting the 59th Asia Pacific Broadcasting Union General Assembly 2022. The conference began in New Delhi on November 25th and will continue till November 30, 2022. What is the theme of this year's assembly? Serving the people, media's role in times of crisis. The Asia Pacific Broadcasting Union is a non-profit professional association of the broadcasting organizations of Asia and Pacific region. Who is the Minister for Information and Broadcasting and Minister for Youth Affairs and Sports? Anurag Thakur. Let's move to next question. Which company has launched India's first private rocket launch pad at Sri Harikota? The answer is Agnikul Cosmos. India's first private launch pad and mission control center has been established within the ISRO campus at Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota. The launch pad is designed and operated by Chennai-based space tech startup Agnikul Cosmos. Let's talk about ISRO. The Indian Space Research Organisation (ISRO) is the national space agency of India. It founded on 15th August 1969. Where is the headquarters of ISRO? Bengaluru. Who is the chairman of ISRO? S. Somnath. Which municipality will offer India's first green municipal bonds for solar plants? Indore, Indore Municipal Corporation seeks to raise as much as 2.6 billion rupees via a 10-year bond sale next month, according to Tim Bang Singh, Chief Executive Officer of Indore Smart City. The offering from Indore, which is in the central state of Madhya Pradesh, is also said to be the country's maiden municipal green bond designed for retail investors. 
which municipality had issued India's first municipal green bonds? Ghaziabad. What do you mean by green bonds? Green bonds are debt securities designated to finance environmentally friendly projects. Which company won the bid to redevelop Dharavi, one of the largest slum clusters in the world? Adani Group. The Adani Group won the bid to redevelop Dharavi, one of the largest slum clusters in the world, with an initial investment of Rs. 5,069 crore. Dharavi is a locality in Mumbai. This is the fourth time in the last 18 years that the Maharashtra government is attempting to build Asia's largest slum cluster which is home to close to 58,000 families and has around 12,000 commercial establishments. Let's talk about Maharashtra. Where is the capital of Maharashtra? Mumbai. Who is the Chief Minister of Maharashtra? Eknath Shinde. Who is the Governor of Maharashtra? Bhagat Singh Koshyari. Who has won the major Dhyan Chand Kerlerna Award for 2022? Sharad Kamal Ajinda. Tennis player Sharad Kamal Ajinda has been chosen for major Dhyan Chand Kerlerna Award for 2022. President Draupadi Murmu conferred the National Sports Awards 2022 and the National Adventure Awards 2021 to the awardees at a function at Rashtrapati Bhavan. Major Dhyanchand Kerlerna Award is given for the spectacular and most outstanding performance in the field of sports by a sports person. India's maternal mortality ratio MMR declined from 130 in 2014 to 16 to 97 per lakh live births in 2018 to 20. India has witnessed a significant decline in the maternal mortality ratio MMR from 130 in 2014 to 16 to 97 per lakh live births in 2018 to 20. What is MMR? The MMR is defined as the number of maternal deaths during a given time period per 1 lakh live births. Upon achieving this, the country has accomplished the National Health Policy target for MMR of less than 100 per lakh live births and is on the right track to achieve the Sustainable Development Goal target of MMR of less than 70 per lakh live births by 2030. Who is the Minister of Health and Family Welfare and Minister of Chemicals and Fertilizers? Dr. Mansuk Mandavia. The FSSAI approved which animal as a food animal? Himalayan yak. The Himalayan yak has been approved as a food animal by the Food Safety and Standard Authority of India. What is the reason behind this? The population of the Himalayan yak has been declining rapidly. To arrest the fall in their numbers and promote their rearing, the FSSAI tagged it a food animal. The tag may promote the commercial rearing of yaks since currently they are raised only to provide milk and meat to local consumers. Let's talk about FSSAI. The Food Safety and Standards Authority of India FSSAI, is an autonomous statutory body that maintains the food safety and standards in India. It is administrated by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. It founded on 5th September 2008. Where is the headquarters of FSSAI? New Delhi. Who is the chairperson of FSSAI? Rita Tiosia. Let's move to next question. In which state is the Hornbill Festival held? Nagaland. The 23rd edition of the Hornbill Festival of Nagaland started on December 1st at Naga Heritage Village, Kisama. The festival represents all ethnic groups of Nagaland, for which it is also called the Festival of Festivals. Organized by the Government of Nagaland, 
the hornbill festival showcases nagaland's deep rooted traditions and its rich cultural heritage the festival is also a tribute to the great hornbill which is an admired and revered bird by the naga people for its qualities of alertness and grandeur vice president of india jagdeep tankar inaugurated the event let's talk about nagaland where is the capital of nagaland kohima who is the chief minister of nagaland nipur rio who is the governor of nagaland jagdish mugi he is the governor of assam he has given the additional charge of nagaland let's move to next question the rpa launch retail central bank digital currency on which date 1st december rpa launch the retail digital rupee on a pilot basis on 1st december the central bank has identified eight banks for face based participation in this trial the retail digital rupee will be in the form of a digital token that represents legal tender let's learn about central bank digital currency or cbdc cbdc is a digital currency that is issued by the central bank of a sovereign nation by definition is it is freely convertible against the physical currency issued by the same central bank similar to physical currency one need not have a bank account to transact using cbdc's either what is the major distinguishing factor between cbdc's and physical currency cbdc's will have an infinite life in the sense that it cannot be damaged or lost in any physical form it will be managed on digital ledger that may or may not be blockchain enabled what is the name of india's own central bank digital currency e rupee cbdc's can be two types retail and wholesale the wholesale kind would be used for interbank settlements and other wholesale transactions whereas cbdc retail would be used for retail transactions as an electronic form of cash cbdc wholesale is expected to reduce transaction cost and to make the interbank markets more efficient the rpa launched wholesale central bank digital currency pilot program on 1st november which country formally assumed the presidency of g20 india india formally assumed the presidency of g20 grouping for the period of one year india start of the presidency is marked by several people centric activities 100 monuments will be lit up across the country with the g20 logo this is the logo of india's g20 presidency what is the theme of india's g20 presidency vasudeva kudumbakam or one earth one family one future the g20 sherpa meeting will be held at udaipur in rajasthan from december 5 to 7th who is the g20 sherpa from india the former ceo of niti aayog amitabh kant is the g20 sherpa from india let's talk about g20 the g20 or group of 20 is an intergovernmental forum comprising 19 countries and the european union it works to address major issues related to the global economy such as international financial stability climate change mitigation and sustainable development who is the chairman of g20 narendra modi Which country will assume the chairmanship of Vasanar Arrangement Plenary on 1st January 2023? India. India will assume chairmanship of Vasanar Arrangement Plenary on January 1st, 2023 for a period of one year. Let's talk about Vasanar Arrangement. The Vasanar Arrangement is a multilateral export control regime wherein member states exchange information on various issues like transfer of conventional arms. India joined the Vasanar Arrangement on 8th December 2017 as its 42nd participating state. 
let's move to next question which ministry has launched the night chetana gender campaign ministry of rural development night chetana campaign has been launched by the ministry of rural development what is this campaign it is a gender campaign launched under the national rural livelihoods mission in all the states it aims at equipping women to recognize and prevent violence and making them aware of their rights Mr. Minister of Rural Development and Panchayati Raj, Kiriraj Singh. Which country has assumed the presidency of the UN Security Council for the month of December 2022? India. India has assumed the presidency of the UN Security Council for the month of December. It is the second time in its two-year tenure as an elected member of the UN Security Council that india has assumed the presidency of the council india had earlier assumed the presidency of the unsc in august 2021 let's talk about unsc the united nations security council is one of the six principal organs of the united nations the security council has primary responsibility for the maintenance of international peace and security it has 15 members and each member has one vote UNSC founded on 24th October 1945 where is the headquarters of UNSC New York who is the secretary general of UN Antonio Guterres India formally assumed the presidency of the G20 grouping for the period of one year not on this point also let's move to next question The first Silhet Silchar festival celebrating close Indo-Bangla cultural ties has begun in which state Assam Union Minister of Tourism Culture and Development of Northeastern Region G Kishan Reddy and Bangladesh Foreign Affairs Minister Dr Abdul Momen inaugurated the Silhet festival 2022 at Silchar in the Barak Valley of Assam The five day festival which is being jointly organized by the Ministry of Culture and India Foundation. The program is being organized in the context of the historic relationship between Silhet and Barak Valley of South Assam. Silhet is a city in Bangladesh. Let's talk about Assam. Where is the capital of Assam? Dispur. Who is the chief minister of Assam? Himanta Biswa Sarma. Mr. Governor of Assam, Jagdish Mukhi, who is also the Governor of Nagaland. The 23rd edition of the Hornbill Festival is celebrating in Nagaland. Not on this point also. Which state has launched Skill Connect portal that links employees to employers? Karnataka. The Karnataka state government announced the availability of an upgraded skill current portal that connects job seekers and employers. Online digital learning courses will be introduced in universities. Every university will have to at least a degree course in the online format before March 2023. Let's talk about Karnataka. Where is the capital of Karnataka? Bengaluru. Who is the Chief Minister of Karnataka, Basavraj Bommai? Who is the Governor of Karnataka, Tavachan Kold? India's biggest international yoga center is situated in which state or union territory? Jammu and Kashmir. India's biggest yoga center has been constructed in village Malatali in the Chennai Tehsil of Jammu and Kashmir's Udhampur. The village which is located on the Himalayas in the salt forest lap the village which has a peripheral view of both the plains as well as hills will serve the international yoga center at the banks of Tavai river let's talk about jammu and kashmir who is the left hand corner of jammu and kashmir manoj singha
with which country had india participated in the bilateral training exercise agni warrior singapore the 12th edition of exercise agni warrior a bilateral exercise between the singapore and the indian armies which commenced on november 13 concluded at the field firing ranges devlali in maharashtra on november 30 exercise agni warrior involved showcasing joint firepower planning execution and the use of new generation equipment by the artillery arm of both armies let's talk about singapore who is the president of singapore halima yakob who is the prime minister of singapore lee sing long what is the currency of singapore singapore dollar let's check the names of bilateral exercises between india and other countries first in 22 bilateral training access between india and australia nasim al bahar bilateral training access between india and oman harima shakti 2022 bilateral military access between india and malaysia youth abhyas 22 bilateral military access between india and usa let's move to next question As per the UK IBC report, which Indian state has the highest rate among states in terms of the operating environment? Maharashtra. UK business in India have rated Maharashtra the highest among the states in terms of the operating environment, followed by Gujarat and Chhattisgarh. As per the UK India Business Council's annual Doing Business in India report 2022. Let's talk about Maharashtra. Where is the capital of Maharashtra? Mumbai who is the chief minister of Maharashtra Eknath Shinde who is the governor of Maharashtra Bhagat Singh Koshyari Let's move to next question S&P Global Ratings cut India's economic growth forecast for the current fiscal year to 7% S&P Global Ratings cut India's economic growth forecast for current fiscal year to 7% but said the domestic demand led economy will be less impacted by the global slowdown let's talk about s&p global ratings it is an american credit rating agency and is a division of s&p global that publishes financial research and analysis on stocks bonds and commodities India retained the lead as a top tourism market of which country in 2022? Maldives. India has retained its lead as the top tourism market of Maldives in 2022. Close to 2 lakh Indian tourists visited the Maldives in 2022 so far. The High Commission of India in Male also congratulated Maldives on securing the world's leading destination title for 2022 at the World Travel Awards. Let's talk about Maldives. Where is the capital of Maldives? Male. Who is the president of Maldives? Ibrahim Mohamed Solia. What is the currency of Maldives? Maldivian Rupia. Mauna Loa, the world's largest active volcano, is situated in which state of the United States? Hawaii. The world's largest active volcano, Hawaii's Mauna Loa, is erupting for the first time in almost 40 years. Mauna Loa last erupted in March and April of 1984. The last eruption began on Sunday night at the volcano summit Caldera. Calderas are hollows that form beneath the summit at the end of an eruption. Let's talk about USA. Where is the capital of USA? Washington, D.C. Who is the president of USA? Joe Biden. What is the currency of USA? United States dollar. Which Indian city ranked 22nd in the Global Prime Cities Index by Knight Frank? Mumbai. London-based property consultant Knight Frank has ranked Mumbai in the 22nd position in a global index that measures the annual price appreciation of premium residential properties the prime global cities index is a valuation based index tracking the movement in prime residential prices 
in local currency across 45 plus cities worldwide. Scientists revived a 40,500 year old zombie virus buried in ice in which country? Russia. Scientists have revived a 40,500 year old zombie virus buried under a frozen lake in Russia. European researchers examined ancient samples collected from permafrost in the Siberia region of Russia. They revived and characterized 30 new pathogens, what they termed zombie virus, and found that they remained infectious despite spending many millennia trapped in the frozen ground. What is a zombie virus? Zombie virus is the term used for those viruses which have been dormant for thousands of years. Let's talk about Russia. Where is the capital of Russia? Moscow. Who is the president of Russia? Vladimir Putin. Who is the prime minister of Russia? Mikhail Mishustin. What is the currency of Russia? Russian ruble. Who was named Miss Earth 2022? Minasu Choi. South Korea's Minasu Choi was crowned Miss Earth 2022 during the pageant's coronation night in Paranaki City. Which country has successfully used steam to propel a spacecraft toward the moon? Japan. Japan has successfully used steam to propel its Equilia spacecraft. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency claimed that this is the world's first successful orbit controlled beyond low Earth orbit using a water propulsion system. Let's talk about Japan. Where is the capital of Japan? Tokyo. Who is the Prime Minister of Japan? Fumio Kishida. What is the currency of Japan? Japanese Yen. Who was awarded the 7th Dr. Paulo's Mark Gregorius Award? Sonam Wangchuk. Sonam Wangchuk, the Ladakh based engineer whose life inspired a character in Bollywood blockbuster Three Idiots, was awarded the 7th Dr. Paulo's Mark Gregorius Award by former Vice President Venkaya Naidu. He has also won Ramon Magsai's Award. Instituted by the Soviet Society of the Malankara Orthodox Church, the award is given every alternate year in the memory of the first Metropolitan of Delhi Days and noted philosopher Dr. Paulos Mark Gregorius. Which of the following films has won Press RTA Award? Akantok The Friday Long Film Bazaar concluded at the International Film Festival of India in Kova with Bangladesh feature film Akantok Me named the winner of the Press RTA Award. The film was directed by Bibulov Sarkar. Who will be conferred the Tenzing Norge National Adventure Award in 2021 in Lifetime Achievement category? Bhavani Singh Samuel. The award will be given in four categories Land Adventure, Water Adventure, Air Adventure, and Lifetime Achievement. Group Captain Bhavani Singh Samuel will be conferred with the Lifetime Achievement Award, Shubham Thananjay Van Mali with the Water Adventure, and Naina Rakat with the Land Adventure. President Taubari Murmu will be given away the Tenzing Norge National Adventure Award for the year 2021 at the Rashtrapati Bhavan on 30th of this month. Who is Tenzing Norge? Tenzing Norge was a Nepali Indian Sherpa mountaineer. He was one of the first two people known to reach the summit of Mount Everest, which he accomplished with Edmund Hillary on 29 May 1953. Who is the Minister of Youth Affairs and Sports and Minister for Information and Broadcasting? Andra Thakur. Who has won the Silver Peacock Award for the Best Director category? Nada C. Vivor. Iranian writer and director Nada C. Vivor was awarded 
silver peacock for best director for no end which film has won the golden peacock award spanish film i have electric dreams bagged golden peacock award Wahid Mobassari, lead actor of No End, was honored with Silver Peacock Award for Best Actor Male. Daniela Mari Navarro, lead actor of Best Film, I Have Electric Dreams, is honored with the Silver Peacock for Best Actor Female Award. The 53rd International Film Festival of India, held in Goa. Note down these important points. Let's move to next question. Which country has won the maiden Davis Cup title? Canada. Canada won their first Davis Cup title after Felix Ogard Elisame beat Australia's Alex De Menor by 6-3, 6-4 in the second match of the finals. Let's talk about Davis Cup. The Davis Cup is the premier international team event in men's tennis. The 2022 Davis Cup is the 110th edition of the Davis Cup. The Russian Tennis Federation were the defending champions, but they and Belarus were eliminated from competing in international events due to the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine. Let's talk about Canada. Where is the capital of Canada? Ottawa. Who is the Prime Minister of Canada? Justin Trudeau. What is the currency of Canada? Canadian dollar. Who has set to become the first female referee at the men's World Cup game? Stephanie Frappard. Stephanie Frappard will become the first female referee to take charge of a men's FIFA World Cup game. The French official will take charge of the group stage game between Costa Rica and Germany on December 2nd. In the process, she will become the first woman to take charge of a World Cup game in the competition's 92-year history. Who has been appointed as the MD and CEO of BSC? Sundararaman R. Market regulator SEBI approved the name of Sundaraman R as the new MD and CEO of the BSE. He will replace Ashish Chauhan. Let's talk about stock exchange. A stock exchange is where different financial instruments are traded, including equities, commodities, and bonds. Let's talk about BSE. BSE Limited, also known as the Bombay Stock Exchange, is an Indian stock exchange and is the leading stock exchange under the ownership of Ministry of Finance, Government of India. It is the oldest stock exchange in Asia. Is there any other stock exchange in India? Yes. National Stock Exchange or NSE. There are two stock exchanges in India, BSE and NSE. BSE founded on 9th July 1875. Who is the chairman of BSC? S.S. Mundra. Who has become the first woman officer to head police commissionate in Uttar Pradesh? Lakshmi Singh. The Uttar Pradesh government has appointed IPS officer Lakshmi Singh as the new Noida police chief, making her the first woman officer to head a police commissionate in the state. The 2000 batch officer Lakshmi Singh will replace Alok Singh. Let's talk about Uttar Pradesh. Where is the capital of Uttar Pradesh? Lucknow. Who is the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh? Yogi Adityanath. Who is the Governor of Uttar Pradesh? Anadiven Patel. Which state has appointed Prasun Joshi as its brand ambassador? Uttarakhand. The Uttarakhand government has named Prasun Joshi, the CEO and CCO of Meccan World Group India, the state's brand ambassador. Padmasri Awadi Prasun Joshi is currently the chairman of the Central Board of Film Certification. He has also written the lyrics for songs 
in popular Bollywood movies such as Rang De Basanti, Fana and Tare Samin Par. He has written the script for the award winning 2013 film Bag Milka Bag. Let's talk about Uttarakhand. Where is the capital of Uttarakhand? Its summer capital is Bararisen. Winter capital is Dehradun. Who is the chief minister of Uttarakhand? Pushkar Singh Dami. Who is the governor of Uttarakhand? Gurmit Singh. Let's move to next question. Who has taken charge as the executive director of Punjab National Bank? M. Paramasivam. The appoints committee of the cabinet has approved the appointment of M. Paramasivam as the executive director of the government-owned Punjab National Bank with an effect from December 1st, 2022 for a period of three years. Let's talk about Punjab National Bank. Punjab National Bank is an Indian public sector bank. It founded on 19th May 1894, where is the headquarters of PNB, Dwaraka, Delhi, who is the non-executive chairman of PNB, KG Anandakrishnan, who is the MD and CEO of PNB, Adul Kumar Goyal, who is the Minister of Finance, Nirmala Sitharaman. Who has been appointed as the chairperson of the National Statistical Commission? Rajiv Lakshman Karadikar. The government of India had appointed Rajiv Lakshman Karadikar, Professor Emeritus at the Chennai Mathematical Institute as the part-time chairperson of the National Statistical Commission of India for a period of three years. Let's talk about NSE. The National Statistical Commission of India is an autonomous body which formed in June 2005 under the recommendation of Tenkarajan Commission. Note on this point. It founded on 1st June 2005. The objective of its constitution was to reduce the problems faced by statistical agencies in the country with respect to the collection of data and strengthen public trust in the numbers released by the Government of India. Where is the headquarters of NSE? New Delhi. Let's move to next question. Vikram Kirloskar passed away. He was the vice chairman of which company? Toyota Kirloskar Motor Private Limited. Vikram S. Kirloskar, the vice chairman of Toyota Kirloskar Motor Limited, passed away. He was a pioneer of India's automotive industry, played a key role in bringing Japan's Toyota Motor Corp to India in the late 1990s. Jiang Zemin passed away. He was the former president of which country? China. China's former leader, Jiang Zemin, who came to power after the Tiananmen Square protests, passed away. He presided over a time when China opened up on a vast scale and so high-speed growth. Let's revise some of the important days. 29 November, International Day of Solidarity with Palestinian People. 1st December observed as PS of Rising Day. 1st December also observed as World AIDS Day. Theme is putting ourselves to the test, achieving equity to end HIV. 2nd December observed as National Pollution Control Day or National Pollution Prevention Day. 2nd December also observed as International Day for the Abolition of Slavery. Theme is Stories of Courage, Resistance to Slavery and Unity Against Racism. 2nd December also observed as World Computer Literacy Day. Note on these important days and theme. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and you have received some important points. How was the video? If you find this helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. And share it with your friends. To get daily current affairs notes, please subscribe to our channel. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care.